This is Sam. It is Sam's first date and they are quite nervous, maybe even stressed. Several things point to stress, such as a shortness of breath, muscle tension, and a fast heart rate. But first of all, what is stress? Stress is the body's physical and mental response to situations of danger or sudden change. What happens when we're stressed and how do our brains react? The brain acts like an assembly line, where one worker starts something and another completes it. Stress starts at the eyes, which when sensing danger, sends an alert to the amygdala, the area of the brain that controls emotional processing. If the amygdala deems the alert dangerous, it passes on a message to the hypothalamus, which triggers the sympathetic nervous system, which sends a distress signal to the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands then pump out epinephrine, or adrenaline, readying the body with an extra boost of energy. When the epinephrine subsides, the next worker gets ready, the hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis, or the HPA axis. This consists of a series of endocrine glands, pituitary glands, and the hypothalamus, and starts emitting corticotropin-releasing hormones. The CRH moves towards the pituitary gland, triggering the release of adrenocorticotrophic hormones, which moves to the adrenal glands, prompting them to release cortisol. Cortisol is a hormone that keeps the body focused and alert, readying the body for reaction. After the body reacts accordingly, the hypothalamus will fire up the parasympathetic nervous system, dampening stress response and expediting the body's return to normal. Well, it seems as though Sam was able to recover from their stress. Maybe because of their lovely date? Good luck, Sam.